Hey, my name is Jordan. Uh, I'm a banjo player, and uh, while I play the banjo, I don't do any kind of setup or repair work, so I usually have to take my banjo to someone else to get it to play uh, and sound excellent. And recently, I took my banjo to Charlie Cushman, and it just came back in such amazing shape. I was inspired both to play my banjo more and to make this video to talk about the importance of good setup and why it's going to be a lot better for you to take your banjo to someone who specializes in banjo repair or to someone who builds banjos than to someone who is uh, maybe more specialized and works on just guitars regularly. Uh, I do want to say that like if you don't have any other options you know, take it to your local music store. Most likely they'll at least help you uh, get the string set to where it's playable. Uh, but most of the time, they're not gonna be able to give you the most out of your banjo the way someone like Charlie Cushman can, or the way, uh, you know, someone who is a banjo luthier who really knows banjos inside and out can. So, I took it to Charlie recently, and uh, I hadn't taken it in anywhere in a long time. And uh, I kind of just wasn't loving the way my banjo sound. I tried out some different string gauges. I tried out some different tail pieces. Um, but as I said, I play the banjo. I am not a banjo repair person. Um, but I'm so glad I made the drive uh, to see Charlie and invested in the repair because now I'm actually inspired to pick up and play and practice my banjo because of how much I love the way it is sounding now. Um, and I had been wanting a new banjo for a long time, you know, but now I'm happy with the banjo that I have. So thank you very much, Charlie. Uh, I'd recommend if you are within driving distance, uh, send him a message on Facebook, make the drive, and you will be very glad that you did. Um, a few things that I've noticed since I got it back. Every string, if I dig in just a little bit, every string is like, the, now the resonator on the back is vibrating more and is moving more air towards me. So that just tells me that the something's happened. Char Charlie's done some kind of magic, and now the, the instrument itself is more alive. Uh, it's, it's moving more air. Um, and he set the action up to a great place. He knows I like to dig in, so it's not too low, right? Because if it's too low, then we'll get string buzzes uh, if we dig in and pick hard. If it's too high, it's hard to play. So he set it at just the right spot for me to where I can dig in a little bit, but it's still playable for me. And the other thing he did, he cleaned it. It's, it's shiny now. It looks like a new banjo, almost, right? He got rid of all the Dorito crumbs that I had sitting on here on the top. Um, he cleaned the tuning pegs and kind of oiled them up so they're working great now. Uh, set the neck so it's straight and uh, recommended that I, that I get this uh, Presto style tailpiece. Like I said, I went through a bunch of changes, but Charlie said for the, the banjo that I have, Presto is the best. Uh, stuck a new head on here and got some kind of bridge. I don't know what's on there, but Charlie said that was, was part of the secret to the... Uh, uh, increase in, in sound and tone that I was experiencing. He said that bridge was a big part of it. All right, so I just wanted to, to share that little bit with you. You know, like I said, I'm just, just happy with, with what Charlie's done and wanted to recommend to all of you out there, if you can seek out someone who specializes in banjo repair uh, and get them to give you the setup that you've been wanting so you can get the most out of your instrument.